G'day guys and welcome back to Stitch Up and a brand new series. Uh, we're starting again in Voxel Tycoon. Only eight episodes into the last series and um, well I guess I've kind of been a bit like don't get me started but um, there were some problems, there were some problems and I've had to abandon the series. So I did spend a fortnight just trying to get the series uh, to be able to continue on with my save game and due to some mod issues um, and stuff I don't really want to get into um, because I have a, a different uh, theory on, um, on how I think that should work work um, in kind of published mods um, but anyway I'm happy to cut that loose get rid of all that and uh, shake it off and get into a brand new series and of course with the added bonus that we're going to be p playing on the beta branch so welcome to uh, a brand new series in Voxel Tycoon our favorite game on the channel look at this lovely map with all these lakes I love a map with lakes brilliant and I love how the kind of the lakes are all kind of in a bit of a bit of geographical kind of line look at that this lake this lake over here the great lake is brilliant so we're in this kind of temperate uh valley uh what is it some sort of very kind of autumny kind of fall uh climate i don't know what's going on but uh, yeah a couple of mountains there and you can see some mountains in the background of course we're surrounded by some rippers um but yeah i'm happy to play in this particular uh biome as well so that'll be a nice little one i don't know which way we'll think of north but this will be in the beta branch so uh, up front, don't forget to um, expect that we might find bugs as we go. Uh, of course, we'll report those and help the game to improve. But um, yeah, we could, we could be tripped up with things. This is the beta branch. And uh, one new thing we should be looking out for is that we'll have mail deliveries going in with passenger deliveries. So uh, I'm going to have a good look around the map in just a sec. But in the meantime, I think it's best if you enjoy the stitch up intro and I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, so yeah, we've got this big central mountain here and then we've got two towns right next to it. Um, and they, they, these two towns, like in the last series, these two towns are gonna join up obviously and be quite close to each other. And in fact, I think I'll get rid of this reservation just here and allow them to do so. So that'll be that'll be quite good. Um, in fact, I'm tempted just to get rid of this bit here and allow them to come through in any way because that's all on the same kind of landing. That's down one if we have a look here. And then this is down one as well so we might we might cut through here and flatten all this and allow that to to help us to keep everything together but of course money is um gonna be uh you know we're gonna have to watch our money as well as per our normal game uh, i have slightly lent the game um uh some in our favor i guess um i've turned a few of the settings down um so inflation we've got right down um, and uh, the amount that we can loan is uh, right up so which I think is not really game-changing well inflation is but the, the, the amount to loan isn't because we always like to pay that back as well so let's pop the um, let's pop down our headquarters now where are we gonna have it these two towns are gonna join up we then got wood over here and then another town Stafford I love that Stafford Sutton Coldfield and East Grinstead so Coldfield and Grinstead um, Sutton Grinstead are going to join up and uh, we'll see how that goes um, and they tie in with this great big lake over here which is nice uh, into the other region but this looks like a nice flat area over here for a big train station or perhaps a train hub maybe um, but uh, yeah we'll have to think about where we want to put some big production areas but we have iron ore and we we have dairy produce nice and close to each other and they're over just next to this mountain next to this region so that is all quite lovely um, then I might just pause the game there the sound will turn off as well um, then if we come over here um, and just go along the side of the region we've we've got this big sort of open area with nothing in it and then over there we've got uh, coal which is behind the mountain so coal is behind these hills um, and that is pretty good and um, so we've got coal uh, so and over here Berkhamstead um, and they, they're, they're wanting some wood as well so it's not too bad so if we have a look at this over here from this kind of area let's see we've got um, what do we got we've got four towns and they're kind of like one two three and four with the cop with the over here coal over on the left so one two three and four um, and over here we've got the produce so so produce of coal here uh, and then we go over there with iron ore, dairy, and then we'll have more iron ore a bit later. But iron ore, dairy, coal, uh, and over here it must be wood. 
Okay, and so he wants iron ore. So if we look at quick wins, but let's let's look at putting our um, I think our capital has to go into or our headquarters has to go somewhere in here. Um, so let's pop him in here. Um, and I do want him to go at the right grade. So we're kind of, you know, I kind of want this grade as well. So let's put him. Look, he doesn't have to be on a road as well. Uh, so why don't we put the capital here? Um, actually, you know what? Let's do it in the road on the way in. Uh, yeah, I think we should just do that. Spin him, spin him and make him like that. Okay, let's do that. So what we'll do is we'll just get this road going up. And like that. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, good. Um, so as we're in the beta branch as well, we can talk about different things. But as we're in the beta branch, uh, we'll be able to... Uh, in this series, I believe we'll be able to expand our existing... Can I put that right across? I can. Headquarters. Brilliant. There we go. Foxhall Incorporated, Sutton Coldfield. Uh, lovely. Um, so we'll be able to expand our train stations. I believe we can, in the beta branch, we might be able to edit our train stations, uh, which could be quite good. Um, I'm keen for... Can you just get rid of this because I don't like that? But I could do it just there. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And then maybe, I don't think we'll be spending too much, but let's do a little bit, just a little bit of of this. So we could put it like this. How much is that going to cost us? Um, is that kind of... Why doesn't he show you how much that's going to cost? Uh... Uh, is that because I'm in... Yeah, I might have to just see about that. I don't know if that's different. Devices, storage, vehicles, and alt mode. We've got alt mode on? I don't know. Let's go with the alt mode. Uh, well, it's turning off. I'm just looking to see. We haven't got enough things for alt mode to be affected at the moment. Because uh, vehicles, storages, and devices. Well, we don't really have any of those to switch between the two. Okay, let's keep, let's keep moving here. I mean, I do want to join these towns up, so maybe we should just do that. Um, yeah, let me do that. If I do roads and uh, maybe, I, yeah, I can see how much it's costing, which is good. And I wouldn't mind if the road could go straight through. Um, so let's do it like that. Yep. And that'll keep him down at grade, which is nice. We're going around that bit there, which is good. And if I do this and then this and then come that. He should be able to then come across. Okay, good. So, yeah, we only lost about sort of, well, 13,000 or so. Uh, but at least that gets those two connected in from the get-go, which is quite nice. I don't mind that at all. I think it'd be a good place to have a garage along here as well. And we can clear out some things. I don't even mind it going through the canyon. Uh, okay, so now we know that uh, wood is quite close. So we got this guy wanting um, iron ore. Let me turn that alt mode off. Well, turn off the alt mood description. But if we have a look here, we've got, um, what do we got there? Industrial buildings, okay. Um, yeah, so we need some iron ore going in uh, and we're gonna need some coal here and we're gonna need some iron ore there. So two iron ores, they're pretty connected. And then of course, we're gonna have uh, some dairy. So we will definitely need to do uh, a couple of things here. Um, actually, so we're gonna look at it like this. Yeah, I'm going to look at it like this, with this big kind of England-looking thing uh, sort of facing upwards. I think that'll be our orientation that we have a look at it. So this keeps these two like this. Nice. Uh, iron ore should be down here, I believe. Yeah, it's a fair way down, is it? No. Coal is over the back there. So coal is south. The game just saves. Uh, where are we looking at here, guys? Iron ore and dairy is there. Now, let's think about how we get these across because we could have these two here and coming out of uh, uh, out of that and then we can have them driving along. But I think I want to put a road straight across and have that sort of connected up like that. Now, we're going to want to put a train in fairly early and bring those goods in because um, that'll keep the truck just doing short term. So what we'll try and do is, I wonder if maybe we should try and get ourselves um, a little bit of, um, I wonder if we should try and risk it with trains to start with. Yeah, I think we will. Let me see, where's coal? Where's coal? Coal is, uh, coal is all the way back. Coal is these mountains. Coal is in the north. That sounds about right. Coal in the north. No, where is the coal? Uh, over here. 
coal's not going to get very much either. Wood is there. So I guess if we join these two up and just have the coal going straight through, we could have the iron ore also connecting up. So maybe if I see if I can get a road across here, I don't think I will do trains. I think I'll get the, the roads going and then we can knock out the roads and put in the trains. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to afford to go straight to trains. That could be a real struggle because you still need to buy the trucks anyway. Uh, so let's pause and get some roads down. Um, I'm thinking I just want to put this here because that'll... Actually, I, there's no need to go across that lake because we have to come down here anyway. We might as well connect these two up by road and then have this connected up here. So let's do a road straight along here. Okay, yeah, that's nice. And I'm going to see if I can just cut through here. Uh, yeah, is that going to be... Can I do that? But can I go control, uh, space? No, that's the pausing. Okay, I can't do that. So let's just cut through this then. And do these ones. I think I have to do this in small amounts. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So we go all the way through. Okay, good. So there's this main road heading down. Um, and uh, I think what we need to do here is put this other road there. So we want that to be at the right grade as well. But I like the idea of the road going alongside the this. Now that's less so, 5,450. So it's not very much more, is it? So we might as well get a little bit of, but then again, right alongside the lake is nice. So we're trying to go for a bit of design going on here, which is pretty good. Let's bring it straight through. That's the easiest way just to do that straight through and let's have him going along the lake here yeah nice and close uh yeah we're not doing too bad for sort of costings let's do this guy here and of course we need to get up to here so i basically need this to be and i, I will do that down down here so let's do let's do this and this yeah and i think that's good just to go there and there okay good so uh we can um is get the iron ore first of all uh so if we have a look at it like this let's get an iron ore mine in uh, mining facilities and we want iron mine um so i can put this sort of anywhere i can't put it out there but you can sort of see where it's going to be and then if i get it right across though so let's put him there because it doesn't tell me about the yield. I don't think the yield changes. I think it's all pretty good. But I want to put this guy out a bit. So 41 there or 41. Yeah, 41 is pretty good. So let's stick him right out. Uh, let's put him here. I'm trying to see where, where he could be. So on the plateau there. Yep, so he does that. And if I then go Mr. Dairy farm as well. So let me put uh, mining facilities and we go dairy farm. Let's see how quickly how much we can put this guy out So he could be out here. So this is how left he could be there, but if we go down a bit He could be say here And we'll face him that way Okay, so that's quite nice and they're both going to start producing and then right in the middle of those guys I think I want to put in uh, So I'm gonna I am gonna terraform here and uh, I don't know why the terraforming doesn't show me the cost uh, But it might be a beta thing um, Or it might not cost anything. Oh I might have free terraforming mod on Yes, I do Fantastic I actually uh, tried to subscribe to free terraforming mod and um, it's interesting because uh, what I can do now is I can really craft the the oh, craft the mountain up a little bit um, and, and sort of make it kind of yeah like adding in different sort of levels and stuff and um, uh, I tried it in the previous game but I didn't quite have the uh, um, uh, you had to put it in a brand new save game so yeah it's um, it's good that I've now got that okay now this is going to be loading up for both uh, so what we want to do is we want to go uh, stations and I want the well I think I'm going to want like at least four if you look at the price difference here let's try four and I think that's kind of good but basically I want it in the catchment of both and I want to ha also have a road next to it as well so let me see if I could do that I could do that 
Okay, what I'm going to do is bring this road in. Uh, I just think if I go, actually, you know what, if I bring this road in, yeah, this is good. Let me do this. Yep. And then uh, we can go to this. And I know I want to see if I can get this guy in here. And so I've got the other road there and I can have a waypoint. I can have them basically coming in. But my idea here is if I get the catchment between quite a few. So I'm thinking about where we put the other ones uh, here in case we need to put more iron ore mines. But I think we'll be pretty good. I can use, by that time, I can just use my, um, my, um, conveyors and other devices to bring that up. So I think I'll put a waypoint in here because I want cars to drive in and then come out this way. Uh, and what I'll do is I wouldn't mind just going with the roads and well, we know we've got to have this road here anyway, so we might as well just do that. Uh, we don't need to do anything fancy though, so we can have this here and then I'll have this guy coming out. So we'll go like that and like that. And we'll have a waypoint out as well. And we'll be able to set those waypoints. Uh, but at the moment, I'll just have that activated and that'll be fine. So that'll pick up both of those and the trucks will be able to, to, to rock and roll. Now, I'm actually thinking I might have myself a garage. Uh, and we'll put the garage here. Yeah, I think we'll just do that because that's a nice little, nice little spot. Yeah, let me put him right along though. Let's try and have him, if he goes, ooh, could put that there. Actually, yeah, we could do that. Let's do a bit of uh, free terraforming again. That's going to be really good. I'm going to get really carried away with the free terraforming. Uh, but we'll just do a little bit there. Although it will also terraform for me. Uh, and I want the uh, garage. So rotation. And he's going to be ooh, there. Yeah, I think that's nice. Okay, let's get the road going on. And yep. Okay, good. All right, so we're getting through with some money there, but now now we've got this guy going here. So, okay, we've got ore and we've got dairy. So we come down here, we've got ore and dairy, and um, that's wood required there. So now I thought, let's get, because I can terraform my way through here. So let me get a road going through here first. Uh, now that I've got the terraforming mod, let me flatten out a bit of land. Just flatten that out. Yep. And then let me flatten out this as well. Uh, yep. And let me bring this all down to kind of here. Is that all complementary? It is. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that'll bring that down to there nicely. Uh, let me just cut in here. Ooh, yeah. Okay. And what we want to do, now that's bringing wood up here, but I think we can we can probably do it. Let's do it here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Where's he come down? He comes down to here. Actually, let's do this. Yep, that kind of works. And then I'll go all the way along here. Straight lines are good with the cars. This is a, this, this is a long way for the cars to be sort of going out, but where would you need to go? So let's do, well, what we could do is this, and this, actually, you know what I'm gonna do, don't you? I'm gonna do a bit of terraforming. Okay, that's good. I guess I don't mind that, free terraforming will be handy. Okay, this is these are long truck routes, but that's all right. We're sort of committed to it now, aren't we? And it's, I just, I'm very nervous about starting with trains. I think you've got to get the trucks anyway, because you're not going to just use trains. So I kind of think, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. So uh, dairy and uh, iron ore. So that should be ready to go. Now these two can be serviced by the same, and you've got one over there as well. And then uh, we'll have to connect this up as well, but we'll we'll get that going. So uh, coal here, but let, let's get these guys going. Um, we go stations, and let me see if I could put a double station in somewhere. Now, I need a station that's going to connect both of them. Uh, and it's going to have to be in an interesting little area. If I do something like that, it would work. Yeah. Um, mm. What if I did that? Yeah, that would be one of them. Here's a double. I really want something that connects to both. Uh, how can I do this? Oh, I could do... Could do that yeah that would be good how much is it going to be 51 if i put him in a flat spot with no charging it's going to be oh 18,000. okay good so we really need it to be 
much better than that. Uh, that would connect to both and it's 18,000. Uh, yeah, that would work. Uh, it has to be right there though. Uh, oh god. 18,000 there, and I could probably get the train in. Uh, okay, why don't we do this? Why don't we go? Mr. Free Terraforming. <laughs> I forgot I'd uh, done that, but let's do this. Get rid of these guys. Put a nice little bit of a sort of bit there, a little bit here. There you go. Yep, that's not bad. Uh, while we're there, just chip away at this, but I want this to look fairly neat. So let's do that. And then while we're here, let's just don't mind them chipping away into that a little bit. That's nice. Um, okay, we, we, we basically know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do this, aren't we? Yeah, that'll stop the cars going up and down. Okay, so this will <laughs> we'll probably have all that town on grade there, but at least this helps us to do what we wanted to do. And it is, of course, put in this guy. Uh, now we're going to just do two. Uh, sorry, he's a station, isn't he? I think two two works. Um, I think there is good. I need to put a road in either side, but that kind of works because I can do. I think I could do a road. We do there. Yep, and that is kind of good. Okay, so we know it's going to be this, and then we're thinking it's going to be that, as well as that. Yeah, I think that's pretty good for now. And that'll connect up to both of those. So, uh, radio. well, we're basically ready to get our very first ones going, so let's get these in, and then we'll unpause the game. Uh, so, let's get ourselves uh, some, some garage -y action. Okay, uh, the cargo I'd like to go is iron ore, so if I can buy the regular truck for 21,000. Okay, this truck I'd like to please collect here. It'll be a full load. Um, and then please uh, drop off, uh, it's a long way, drop off here. And it'll be a full unload. This will now be called iron ore to East Grinstead North. Um, and so you are set, and I want to copy you three times. Sorry, four times. Yep. And then we are going to want to do buy. The cargo is going to be dairy. Uh, it's going to be here, here, or here. Now, 35, 50, or ooh, AA truck. Hmm. AA truck, AA truck. I like this one. Why does this truck look so good? 21, 49, two tons. Okay, these 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 just look cool. I don't know why they look so cool, but I'll have to see who made these. Um, and okay, this is good. So we're going to go add stop. And it's going to be... Uh, so if we go down this way, it's going to be here load and we'll set certain uh, lanes for each of these products at some stage uh, it's gonna be a full load and then it's gonna be another full unload uh, full unload and you're going to be called uh, dairy produce to East Grinstead so this is dairy produce not milk dairy produce okay that's good so you're gonna be lovely and I'm gonna go one two and three uh, so that brings you down to 375 let me just go here, copy and copy so we've got five and five and unpause the game and do a release all so you can see these guys all be released and they're all coming out of the garage turn the alt mode off and we can see them all coming out there which is quite lovely all right so i think that's quite nice just looking to see how long we have been recording for 25 minutes or so so it's not too bad um but this is yeah this is gonna be lovely so they'll all just fill up um and we probably should have left the game off pause because that'll just allow them to, to get moving. Uh, so you're going to be doing them, them. Yeah, the dairy trucks look fantastic. I like those. Very nice. Okay, so you're doing that and coming along here and it's going to take ages. Um, the road connections are all pretty good. So you could take wood into here. Now, if we have a look over here, there was wood here. Yeah. And they've got coal here. And what I think is, if I can get one depot to do both of these, that would be really cool. Uh, and I think the best thing we could do, as we're down on grade here, is I think we'll just uh, spend a bit of money and get rid of that and that. And use my um, 
my leveling tool and come in with this and just say look okay that's gonna be that uh, but that means that everything here is going to be gone, which is nice. But there's a plateau there, which is cool. So we're on the edge of that plateau. Hang on, are we? Um, yeah, that will just fill that in. And we can fill this in. And then around the back of these houses, I'm thinking what we do is we just get rid of those. Yeah. So that would be kind of cool. So you got sort of two levels for this one. I think that could be quite, kind of nice. Um, so they're up one, these guys, uh, and that's alright. If they're already up one, that's pretty good. What I think we should do, though, is just do that. Yep. Hang on. Yeah, you're already up one, so there you go. That's good. And then if they're already up one here, then I think we should level out this here. So if we go like this, um, and let's just make this guy kind of there. Bring this down a bit and just level across there careful with the leveling you don't overdo it well, we definitely know I'm gonna overdo it and so we've got this plateau here and I think I'll just take that off there so it's all the same that's not bad um, yeah I'm just gonna do that and that okay so that's kind of cool you can see the council have sort of come in and chipped away at that one I think that will be kind of nice uh, yeah Make sure this looks kind of good. I either want it to look natural or like a lovely cliff face with a bit like a quarry in there. So I think that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, that, that is nice. Happy with that. And of course, preserving lovely little natural hills like this one, which is good. Okay, so um, okay, so now that we've leveled this out a little bit, we did, did want to see if we could put in uh, a couple of things. So I'll pause the game again. And we will put in a uh, wood uh, sawmill. Yep. And I'll put it quite across, but let me put it here. Yeah, it's all there. Uh, and then I want something in between these two. And of course, we're leaving room for warehouses when we put these guys down. So I think I should do stations. And I think I'm going to have to do a double. Oh, hang on. Stations. Yeah, I want a four, don't I? Another four. Yep. And I want it to go in between the two, which is pretty good. That's pretty nice. Uh, I think we should do that. Okay, let's do that. So it basically connects into those to hit logistics. And you can see the connections again. Uh, and then we were putting a service road in. So let's do this as the road in. Yep. And then we'll go uh, this as the road out. But for now, we're just using that one lane. So that's good. Uh, we've got the wood going. So now we can do wood over to using the same road, which is nice. Unpause the game because we won't be undoing anything. Now, if I can get something quite central in here, this could be good. Let me go to uh, here. I will just pause it and I go freight station with one. Let me see if I could just put this freight station in. I mean, I could put it there, but I don't like I don't like to have them anywhere off. I like to have them off a little bit, not on. Now that could be there, could be good. Um, actually, here would service that whole corner, uh, but would it connect in? No, it won't do that. I want to connect it to here, so I could do that and see if I could. Well, he has to come down anyway because of this, which is a shame. So what we'll do is let's connect this up. Oh, hang on, yeah. Uh, no, he can't do that. So what do we have to do this? Well, he can't connect up then anyway, but what we could do is this. And then we could do... Uh, is that down a bit? Is he down or is he up? He's, he's one up and he's one down. Okay, cool. So we really have got ourselves a little bit of a situation there. In fact, I don't like it. Um, I'm going to refund that. I'm going to refund that as well. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to get my terraforming and I'm going to drop in, if I can. I'm going to drop in all this. No, I want this to come out like this. Yeah. And then I want to drop this down as much as I can and drop these guys down a bit as well. Okay, now over here, let me see if I can just get that sort of squared off. That guy squared off. Okay, cool. Now, let me see how I can get this road down to grade. If we get it down, yep. Yeah. There's the grade there, which means, right, if I go to stations, I should be able to put him in here and he could go, in fact, we might as well just do a double station. Uh, yeah, we might as well do a double. Uh, actually, 
Yeah, let's do this. Well, he's kind of touching in there anyway. Uh, this could be good. What about if we do that? Uh, oh, hang on, he needs to get the... Well, this is the wood delivery, isn't it? I'm just thinking everywhere around here. In fact, let's put him in here. Let's do that. I think that's pretty good. And then we'll just get some road connections into here. Connecting into... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Should be able to come out. Nope. You can't do that. Okay, let me do uh, this. And this. And then maybe this could just be how we connect in the roads here. So we do that to that, that to that, and then that to... No, we can't do that. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, if we are paused, so we can cancel it again and get the 18,000 back. It's a 100% refund there. Uh, we go here, and now that I've got the road infrastructure in, in fact, let's cancel this one out. Let's go back to here, collect uh, a station. And should we put him there? No, but we could do one, two, three. He's connected into that. Let's just put him here. Let's just do him there even. So that is connected in. I'll just do the logistics and make sure it is lovely. Okay, so it really gets this whole pocket, but uh, you know, that just works. Uh, that can work for now. We'll do a cul-de-sac at the moment, still turn around. Um, and I think that's good, but we'll just do that. Okay, so we did say that was wood. We're approaching it like this, aren't we? Yes, we are. So I'm gonna unpause the game and I'm gonna go radio. Uh, we now want, uh, ooh just exit out of that we want a garage and I want to go uh, cargo please of the wood and it's gonna be this guy we'll buy him for that 218,000 left so what else we got to do just over here really one more transfer station a couple more roads um, so we want to go this guy and he's gonna be please collecting here a full load and he'll pick up the wood at that point uh, then he's gonna go and drop it off to following it along lots of deliveries being made get the game unpaused and he's going to drop it off to here and that'll be absolutely brilliant so uh even though i've tipped the scales in my favor in this series as far as inflation goes uh as far as free terraforming goes um then what i've what what i think i want to focus this series i want to focus a bit more on design and how we how we solve traffic management problems uh, and i think that could be where we put our focus so i have tipped the scales but i want it to be a little bit more focused on that sort of thing so that's all pretty good um, okay, so Wood is going to Berk Berkhamstead Northeast, which is nice. I like these English names. This is pretty good. Uh, let me see if I can go so 220,000, 23,000 each. So I've got one slash two, three, four, and five. Um, and just let's let's just do that. 23,000. We get the full amount back. Let's release him. And that is quite lovely. So all of those are now going to be heading off and doing their things. And we'll let that go. Okay, first supply of dairy produce has been dropped off. We get 860 pounds. And it is pretty good. So the 860... What are we at? 175? Everyone's a bit unhappy that they've had to wait. But things are going to be happening. Um, let me see here. I mean... Um, right, so these guys are good. Now we said coal... And coal could be dropped off here, um, but I'd need to produce a coal mine. Have I got coal? Iron ore, dairy, wood. Where's coal again? Coal's here. Okay, so coal could wait. We're going on 54,000. Uh, can I borrow any more? Yeah. How much can I borrow? 400,000. Let's borrow the 400,000. We've got 1.2. Okay, good. So that's all pretty good. I'll just borrow the whole amount. Um, we will finish the episode shortly, but I think I'll just get uh, this going as well. Uh, let's think about this guy here. Let's just think about how we like him to be. So you've got upgrade and downgrade. Yeah, there's two. two. I don't mind them sitting on two. That's lovely. I think it is quite, a, quite nice. We'll have the buses going up and down. Um, and we've got this little break off over here, which is pretty good as well. And that heads back to that part of the town. So if I have a look at it from the shoreline, I'll be able to see these um, changes in gradient uh, quite well. Uh, so I could have basically a, a road coming right across here. I think that'd look quite nice straight through here. So if I do that, yeah, and he could just then go up as well, which could be good. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, in fact, can he do that? No, but can he do that? Yes. Cool. Okay, that's not bad. 
and then to get back into here well we know it's going to simply be straight down here this main roads really so that'll be quite good okay six thousand doing this off pause but that's fine yeah this is good okay so um over here it's just let's think about who will serve this service this side of town so that's all pretty good i might uh, go ahead and actually he's going to come in here let's do this reasonably well let's put in a let's put in a double track and put him in just here so he'll serve us here and there could be new ones coming in but i could do it like that actually let's do that because that'll service this whole kind of quarter in fact let's put him right in and service this whole area yeah there we go we we lined up we are brilliant let's pause the game for a moment and just do this connect this in and i will just do a little return uh, let's just do that yeah that's nice okay so we got the iron ore being dropped off uh have we got iron ore being made yes we do look it's a really long way for them to come along so i want to go here please it's going to be buying a cargo truck that carries iron ore to be this one Twenty-one thousand, and he's going to be please collecting here um and then he's going to be so a full load there we follow it down through this town <laughs> all the way over to Stafford and he's going to be unloading at Stafford and getting a shite load of money lovely okay iron order Stafford South yes please um so we'll do that we'll hold the shift key and go one two three four five and six for these guys we'll use a lovely upgrade tool as well um so that's going to be that and he is now on his way as well so that's pretty good we just now need to get coal and um, coal is the only thing left. Um, and I wonder if we just quickly set coal up. Well, I think coal might just need a bit of a weight, although I like the extra loan there. It's quite good. Uh, where is coal? Coal's over here. Let's just think about coal. Maybe we'll just think about it because, yeah, I, I suppose what I could do is put the coal here. I could level down to this level. Um, and I like that. That level there is around the lake. And if you look at around the lake here, although we have come upgrade quite a bit, um, I think the lake level is down. Yeah, it is, because this is one up. So, you know, we could come straight across, then come down to grade along the lake and get the coal a bit later, because that is quite a quite a bus, quite a bus route or train um, car route. Um, could send coal this way as well, but I kind of don't mind him coming through there. If we think about it, coal needs to get to the industrial complex as well, um, and I'll need to put the industrial complex somewhere. Lovely, but I do like maybe the idea of here because you could have lots of factories all around, and then, but then again, this is the town. Um, but I do like the idea of a big train station around here as well. And of course, we've got the option of putting a little bridge over there, so that'll be lovely. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the start of this brand new series. I hope you don't mind that we're only eight episodes into the last series and we had to abandon that one uh, due to mud complications. But we are playing in the beta branch. This has been Voxel Tycoon. And uh, please leave your comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Stitch Up. And I'll see you in the very next episode. Cheers.